can I help you? What business brings you to the Reed Estate? Ah, well put. Very good then. Please come up to the house. I shall meet you at the front entrance. Good day. Welcome to Reed Manor. My name is Dorian Reed. I'm more or less the head of the household, which, as you can see, includes manning the front gate. More to the point, it is also my distinct privilege to have the title of Elle's older brother, which means I get to first meet anyone who calls upon her. And so here, destiny finds us. How do you do? <laughs> yes, well spotted. Though, perhaps the answer is only somewhat less mundane. We should discuss it sometime over a drink. Well, as much as I enjoy standing in my driveway and bantering with a stranger, there are other matters I must attend to today. None so as important as this, but only marginally so. So let us not beat around the bush. I have a sworn duty to uphold. And being cute about it only draws out the process and risks, misunderstandings, what are your intentions with my sister? Ice cream and conversation are both in the acceptable category. Wait here just a moment. I'll go fetch out. Elle, dear! Your guest has arrived! Oh, hello! It's nice to see you again. I'm sure your friend will attest. I was nothing if not polite and welcoming. I only made a handful of threats. Quite harmless, I assure you. Oh my! I hope not! <laughs> Have fun, Elle. Might I suggest taking our new friend for a walk around the grounds? The landscapers just finished trimming the hedges on the south lawn into shapes of animals. It's very fetching. The two of you have fun. Let me know if you need anything. You especially, Al. Let me know if you feel a bad spell coming on. Of course, Dorian. See you later. Oh! <laughs> I believed you for a moment there. I'm usually not very good at picking up on sarcasm, so I appreciate it when it's neatly laid out like fresh linen. Dorian is just super protective at the moment, and he has this way of making my guests scarce. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, thank you for saying so. I hope you meant that as a compliment, because otherwise, I have no earthly clue what you could have meant. Dorian was right about one thing, though. The gardens look very nice right after a hedging. Would you care to walk with me? Well, if the world brings you, feel free to take the call. I would hate to come between the two of you. Every time I visit the estate, I walk down this way. I like sitting by the creek that runs through the west end of the property, just past the stables. Er, I suppose that might sound a bit... parano. Sorry, I don't want to come across as a snob. Oh, well, I suppose if it's too pretty, I could try growling or something when I say it. I just find it's difficult not to come across as a braggart when giving a tour, especially if someone is on their best behavior and I'm making it awkward without realizing it. Okay, here, just through this little hedge. I'll show you my secret place. From home, away from home. <laughs> Dorian hardly ever comes down here. He dislikes the butterflies. So, whenever I need some alone time, I take a book and a picnic down here and enjoy the peace and quiet. What do you think? Kind of pretty in that magic garden sort of way. <gasps> well, that's good. <laughs> If you found it unusually ugly, I would probably just have to ask you to leave. <laughs> 
So, I've been thinking a lot about our short exchange in the bakery. I was wondering if you could clear up some things for me. I always get a bit flustered when strangers strike up conversations, so very likely I was a bit behind the conversation. I was just wondering, what made you start chatting with me? I thought for a few moments that maybe you were selling protein shakes or soap or something. So, I was just worried that maybe I missed something important, because... Wow! I mean, that's a delightful reason that I wasn't expecting you to say. Well, good then. That's settled. Is it uh, warmer than usual out today? Oh, but look at me talking your poor ear off. I've barely given you a chance to breathe, let alone partake in the conversation. What brings you to town? Do you have any burning questions to ask? Hmm. It changes daily, I think. Today it is butter pecan, but I feel like tomorrow will be a maple walnut kind of day. Anything else on your mind? superhero cave, or ghosts, or secret tunnels, nothing actually interesting gets to happen here. I can tell you're thinking hard. Your nose does this cute scrunchy thing. that affects my level of sleepiness and wakefulness. Sometimes, I get spontaneously tired and fall asleep, even in the middle of doing something active. It's not quite as dramatic as it's sometimes shown on TV, but I have fallen asleep in some pretty hazardous situations. One time, I was riding my horse, and luckily, I was strapped in tight. But it's severe enough that I don't drive, usually let new acquaintances know right away, just so they don't think I'm being rude if I fall asleep during our conversation. I hope all of that doesn't make you uncomfortable. I've had a few friendships hit a bump because of it. Dorian means well. He and my parents have always been super protective of me since I was little. They worry that someday I'm going to sleepwalk into the river or something. That's part of the reason why Dorian had to meet you first, before any socializing. My parents insist I get family approval before going out with anyone. It's hard to fault them, but I do wish they would relax a little. But I'm doing okay. Well, we should probably pack up. I have a violin lesson in 25 minutes, and my still Alessandrini is quite unforgiving if I'm late. But I had a very nice time walking in circles around my brother's house. <laughs> I do believe that you passed the first Dorian test, though. So, you might actually let me meet up with you somewhere else. Like the cinema, or my own house. Would you like to have an outing with me sometime? Oh, wonderful! And you're right, that would have been my answer. You were deep. <laughs> Thank you for coming to visit me today. Meeting my brother is an odd formality. I dare say I wouldn't miss it if it went away. But I deeply appreciate the effort. I can assure you that's debatable. I'll be in touch. Until
Until next time, take care.